All right, you ready to make your comic? I am, I'm totally ready. So I thought what we would do is bring together all the skills that we've learned to make some comics. So the first one is going to be a very good knock knock joke, which is knock knock, who's there? Lion, lion who? Stop lying around and open the door. Um, okay, so I put all the words in and I put all the word balloons in and then I thought what we could do is draw the pictures together. So let's do that. So, uh, knock knock, who's there? We know that that person, somebody is knocking on a door and somebody is asking a question. So let's draw door first. There's a door, there's a door frame, there's a door knob. There, it's a door. And who's there? Uh, let's do our beaver friend again, because beavers are fun to draw. I like drawing them. So I'll draw a circle, an ear, another ear, and then a beaver tail, which is just another circle, but we'll put some stripes on it. And remember our emotions that we talked about how to draw? So this beaver is like, who's there? Asking a question. So let's put one eyebrow down and one eyebrow up, and then their little teeth Who's there? Okay. Uh, and then let's do this. Let's do, let's do the door again. So we don't see, because we want to keep the, the surprise that it's going to be a lion on the other end of the door. We want to keep that a surprise. So let's draw the door again, but let's draw it from a little bit of a different angle. Just a doorknob and let's draw a window. That's my background the last time. And this time we're gonna be having the beaver is trying to walk towards the door so that they can open it. So let's draw the beaver from behind. So first I'll draw the beaver's tail because that's the back part, so that's one circle. And then we're gonna draw the beaver's body and the ears. And lion who? Maybe let's do a little bit more fun thing with a word balloon. Let's add a thought balloon in here, so with the cloud, to say that it's a thought going towards their head, you put a little question mark. Lion who? They're wondering. And now, let's draw the lion. I like drawing lions too, because they're both triangles and circles, which is a lot of fun to draw. So we're gonna draw a triangle for the lion's face, a triangle for the nose, and then big eyes and a circle for the ear, and a circle for another ear, and then a big circle for the mane. There we go. There's the body, and then let's draw the lion's paws, like the mane. There we go. And then we should draw the house that he was trying to get into in the background. Again, just a bunch of shapes, just a window. See, that's the same window we could see on the inside, so that's kind of fun. And then let's draw Beaver, because Beaver had opened up the door. And Beaver's like, oh, that joke. Oh, goodness. So big eyebrows. You know when somebody tells you a bad joke and you're just like, Ugh, and you make a weird face? Not the Beaver making that face. Beaver's tail. And let's make a word balloon going to the beaver. That's just an exclamation mark like that. Ugh, here we go. Okay, now let's add some colors because those are always fun. So let's color in the lion first. Lions are like yellow. Color in the lion nice and yellow. And big yellow mane. And then let's draw a little bit of orange. So let's put like a little bit of orange just to make the lion look more colorful. We'll just add a little bit of orange there. And beavers are brown, right? So let's do orange, a little bit of orange. And just do a little bit of orange in there. Color the beaver all in orange. And then what we'll do is we're going to mix a little bit of the black in 
to make it look a little bit darker like brown. So we have the black and we're just gonna go very lightly. We're not gonna push very hard with our color. In, there we go. You were starting to look brown. Awesome. That's very fun. Okay, what color should we make the house? Let's make the house pink. Let's make the house pink. So color in the house in the background, nice and pink. One of my friends painted her room pink and it looks really cool. I really like it. Okay, nice. Pink, nice and pink. And then the outside of the house will be pink too because this is our comic and we can have our houses be colored whatever color we want. So that's very fun. And nice blue sky. All right. We have a comic. That was super fun and super easy. Now let's do a totally new one. Let's do a totally new one together. So I, there's a little bit of space in the back of your booklet, so we can do that. Uh, let's make a comic. So, hmm, what's a good thing to do a comic about? I, as you can tell, love jokes. I love jokes very, very much. So, um, okay, I've got a good one. Are you ready? You ready? Okay. How do you get a squirrel to like you? You act like a nut. Ah, it's very good. Okay, we're gonna do that one. Uh, <laughs> I love jokes. They are very good. Okay, so we want to have one panel. Uh, so we're gonna have one panel where it somebody's going to ask that question. So remember, first thing we do is write our words in. So how do you get a squirrel to like you. And I know I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Do not be afraid of mistakes. Don't be afraid of spelling mistakes. Don't be afraid of anything because you can just erase it and do it again. And it's super Fun. It's way more fun to make a mistake and erase it than to not do anything, as I always say. So there we go. So who should be asking this question? How do you get a squirrel to like you? Let's make it a squirrel. So remember what I said about shapes. Remember what I said about shapes. So a really fun thing we can do is we can draw, we can press really lightly when we're drawing our first shape. So we can just say, okay, a squirrel, let me think, a squirrel has like a head that's a bit like this. We'll put that there. And then squirrels have buck teeth because they chew a bit like, uh, a bit like beavers, but not quite as much because they chew up those nuts with a big circle eyes and a cute little ear and little hands, little circles again, and then their little body. Squirrel, little nose. And squirrels have big bushy tails. We'll do that. And then what we can do, we've drawn it out lightly, we can press a little bit harder this time so that our drawing will show up. A smile, an eye, two eyes, a little nose, tooth, big bushy tail, little, little arms. So how do you get a squirrel to like you? And then we draw our next panel. And don't forget your gutter, keeping a little bit of space between it. And so then, who should the squirrel be asking? How about the squirrel is asking a bird? Because they can both hang out in the park together, and I think that'd be fun. Also, I really like drawing birds. They're fun to draw, because they are just a circle. It's not a chicken this time, so I'm not going to put the thing. The I never figured out what those are called, the things on top. But I will draw some nice feathers on top, these little circles. Hmm, and the squirrel's gonna be thinking, hmm. Maybe I'll get the squirrel to say that, I'll go, hmm. Hmm. 
that's the, I think this is going to be a pigeon. This is the pigeon wondering, hmm, what would, what would you, how would you act to get a, a squirrel to like you? And then we're going to draw our final panel, and this one's going to be really big. And then, I forgot to put the tail into the word balloon, so I'm just going to put that in. Boop. All right. You act like a nut. And this is a very, like, this is the punchline of the jokes. It's very big and exciting. So we're going to do really big and exciting things. And let's draw the squirrel again. We remember our shape. So it's a circle for the head. Circles for the ears, big eye this time, big smile. And let's draw hands above her head and big bushy tail. And let's have her holding a nut. That was funny. Little nut, acorn. And then let's draw the bird in the background, just like, ugh, ugh. This is a bad joke. I think the best kind of jokes are the worst kind of jokes, if you ask me. And so there's the bird, the little feathers on top, and a little frustration cloud. It's like, ugh, bad joke. There you go. And we can add a little bit of color. We can draw in our backgrounds. We can have all sorts of fun. I'm gonna leave that to you because now you've done everything. You know how to make the comic all by yourself. And I hope you have all sorts of fun with it. If you'd like to share what you've created, you can do so on the Creativity Club part of the Telling Tales website. While you're there, you should also check out the virtual festival, which is going to be happening on September 20th. Uh, you can see all the details for that on the Telling Tales website. It's going to be a lot of fun and you should totally check it out. Um, I'm going to be chatting some more with you now, as soon as this part is over. And that's really great. I just want to say thank you so much to the to Telling Tales, obviously, and also to the Eva Rothwell Center for inviting me back again this year. I love making comics with you and I'm really looking forward to when we can make comics together in person again. That's going to be so much fun and I'm so excited to see you and I'm really excited to see all the art that you've made. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.